BBC One chalks up another big break. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm going to be snickering you tonight. I'm famed for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm going to be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Big break! Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Jim Davidson. Folks, this is the mouth from the south sending out a message to all you viewers who suffer from snookerphobia. <laughs> Do you go potty when you can't pot a ball? Do you think you stink when you can't sink a pink? All I can say is, join the club. <laughs> no, snooker, I'm the world's worst. I'm worse than JV. I am the world's worst snooker, but I even took some tips from him, you know. You know what he said? If you want to pot as many balls as you can, If you want to improve your game, rub your snooker balls with an old income tax demand. <laughs> so why is that? They'll fly straight to the pocket. <laughs> Big work, mind you, neither does he. Most of the time. Clap your hands together for my hairy helper, John Virgo! <laughs> Your commentator's eye over this man. Here he is, girl, tall, good looking, highly talented, genius of a snooker player. Steady on, Jim. I'm not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am highly talented, and to oh. prove it, I'd like to do a few impressions. Ah, oh, he's only giving us his impressions, that's all. Is there no beginning to this man's talent? For my first impression, Clint Eastwood. Here, punk, make my day. <laughs> you know what? It's uncanny, isn't it? It's like I'm all paint your wagoned up. It's like he's clinched there. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I Next, know. Star Trek's Captain Kirk, William Shatner. Live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scotty, beam me up, Chuck. <laughs> Now, I'm a Star Trek fan, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, and that is uncanny, even down to the hairpiece. Because you know what you're doing. What next? Our best impression. He's only given us his best impression, and that's all. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> what can I say? We're all bugs. I mean, look at that. You even look like him. I've not started yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flipping heck, Doc, what's up? <laughs> Do you know what? You're leaving this all stand. Superb. Of course, I know what I'm doing. Who shall I impersonate next? The elephant man. Yeah. Can't do him. Why not? I'll have to stand in the corner with my head in a sack. Exactly. I know what I'm doing as well. Let's go meet the contestants. Very nice. Thank you. Elaine, now tell me you are a nurse. Yes, I am, Jim. A psychiatric nurse for the elderly. And whereabouts are you from? Where do you get that lovely complexion from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm originally from Malaysia. <gasps> Fancy leaving Malaysia. Come in, it's a slightly different, isn't it? Well, it's a change, yes. But I wanted to come abroad, and here I am. <laughs> here you are, doing a wonderful job too, Elaine. It's worth a round of applause, I think. <laughs> well done. John, a rising star of snooker, will you please welcome from Wales, Paul Davis! Paul Davis! Are you playing well? Not too bad. We'll see. Good. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, our yellow team. Good luck, good luck. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Scotsman? I am, yes. What part of Scotland are you from, Jim? Uh, I was born in Dumfries, but I live in Troon now. Troon? Yes. Oh, JV country. You've been up there, JV? Yeah. Old Bill McKnight, caddy master at Troon. God bless you, Bill. <laughs> you think it was Arnold Palm? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jim, they tell me you used to work, or still work, on the uh, oil rigs. Uh, I used to work. I don't anymore now. What did you yeah. do on there? Um, Put the bread out for the helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> 
um, I went out first as a medic, a male nurse, and then I went in to become a safety manager. Dip your hand in there, Jim. Another person does a great job. Red Bull, John. Welcome, the Silver Fox, David Taylor! David Taylor! <laughs> Hey, listen, Jim. Yeah, it was you, wasn't it? You what? lost all them balls at Troon. No, it was lip hook. Lip hook? It was 48. Balls? Yeah. How'd you lose them? It was easy. I lost nine on the first hole. <laughs> well, let's hope you play a bit better tonight, David. Round of applause, our red team. Good luck. Good luck, Jim. Margaret. Madam. Vuzet looking Tres Bond. Where from, Mark? I'm from Gwynfrin in North Wales. Oh, can you speak Welsh? No. Oh, it's difficult. Well, there's only three letters in there, I forget. There's two L's and a D. <laughs> <laughs> you have got a blue ball. <laughs> well, it's always nice to welcome him back on Big Break, the 1986 world champion, Joe Johnson! Joe Johnson! <laughs> You're having a tough time. <laughs> yeah. They all say that. Now, blue team, give them a round of applause. We'll play our first game. It's called Red Hot. Yippee! <laughs> OK, big breakers everywhere. You all know the rules. Ten seconds free playing time. Ten seconds for each correct answer. Three questions each. Here we go, Elaine. This is one for you. What is the alcohol found in Buck's Fizz? Um, champagne. Yeah. Correct. Good <laughs> Forward, it is another word for clinkers, which I believe is something that you dig out the ground. And backwards, Jimmy Savile talks about guys and... How's about that then, guys and... Got it. Let John do this one. Come on then, how's about that, guys and... Gulls. And backwards... Oh, that's odd. <laughs> Slag. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's won you ten seconds, Elaine. Give him a big clap. <laughs> Listen very carefully. I have 17 blue, 17 black, and 17 brown socks. <laughs> oh, I have them all mixed up in a drawer. Without looking first, would the minimum number... I have to pull out to be sure of a pair, a pair, be two, three, or four? Two. Correct. Didn't mean a coloured pair, did I? Is it? Didn't mean the same. <laughs> two <laughs> pair. Absolutely right. Little trick question. 40 seconds. You look really, really cold. Oh, Thank you, Paul. All right, Paul, if you'd make your break, please. You didn't get it right, did you? I didn't have a clue. <laughs> you got odd socks on anyway. I <laughs> don't <laughs> like that at all. OK, 40 seconds. Maximum time will start when you strike the cue ball. Fantastic. One. Of course, you've got to set the standard. It's never easy. Never easy. Two. Just in, John. Two. Commentator's eye. Commentator's eye. Three. 20 seconds to go. Four. Five. You've got all... Coming up to ten seconds now. Ooh, three seconds, you need this. <laughs> Paul Davis scores five. Five scores. <laughs> five scores again. All right, Jim, here we go, mate. What is the alcohol found in a Bloody Mary? Vodka. Vodka. Good guess. <laughs> Forwards, it means praise. Backwards, it means divided in two, like a carriageway, perhaps. What type of carriageway is divided in Jewel. two? Dual. Dual, and opposite is? Lord. Lord. I have 17 blue, 
Yes, it's the old socks again, yes. <laughs> 17 blue, 17 black, and 17 brown socks all mixed up in a drawer. Without looking, would the minimum number I have to pull out to be sure of a pair of the same colour be two, three, or four? Four. Four! <laughs> Okay, David, you've got the maximum time. We'd ask you to make a break. Good safety shot. <laughs> okay, 40 seconds will start when you strike the cue ball. Five to beat to be certain of being in pocket money. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what a great shot, ladies and gentlemen. Two. Rest. Three. Brilliant. 20 seconds to go. Four. Five. Shooting gallery now. Six. Records eight. Seven. Margaret, what is the alcohol found in Irish coffee? Irish whiskey? Irish whiskey, correct. And very nice it is too. <laughs> Forwards it means self-satisfied. <laughs> and backwards they are the firm flesh <laughs> found at the base of the teeth. Smug and gums. Smug and gums or gums. If I have 17 blue... <laughs> I've got a lot of trouble with my socks, Betty. <laughs> 17 blue, 17 black and 17 brown, all socks, all mixed up, in the drawer, all load of socks, all foot, heavily footed. <laughs> and I still don't look. Would I have to pull out 34, 35 or 36 socks from the drawer to make sure of a pair of each coloured sock? 36? Is the correct answer! <laughs> I don't know how I get these questions, do you, Jack? I'm glad I don't have to answer them. Five to beat. <sighs> don't break your nib. <laughs> None. <laughs> okay, clock will start, 40 seconds of it. And you strike the cue ball. Five to beat to be certain of being in the next round. One. Oh. Three, just six seconds to go, Joe. Four, need one more. Oh! Joe Johnson scores four. That was so close, Joe. So close, mate. Wow. You wouldn't think that much would make that much difference, would you? But I'm afraid it's Joe and Margaret who got to say goodbye. Come back down, Joe and Margaret. Come on. On the old pack for the Well, how did you feel when that one popped out? <laughs> no, well, Margaret, never mind. Never mind. Thanks, Joe, mate. Thank Thanks for coming down. Margaret, any good with trick shots? No. <laughs> Nor is John no. Burgo. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, Margaret, don't worry. 
Chance for consolation prize. This is not the. This is the most unserious bit of the show. Looking at John Virgo's lovely waistcoat. See, okay. it's getting better. Well, we put a nice one on there. Oh, yes. yes. That is very nice. Where'd you get them? Uh, there's a young lady called Jane Rolfe who won this Designer of the Year award for waistcoats, and she's making me a few at the moment. Mm. I w personally, I wouldn't give her the time of day. <laughs> oh, the time of day. Yeah, that was funny, that. Thanks. Like OK, that. this is a tough shot. But I know you can do it, Margaret. Yeah. I hope so, because there's no guarantee I am. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what I want you to do is to pot the black in the top pocket. And the way it works, I'm going to jump the cue ball through this triangle, hit the black, jump the black through that triangle, go up the table and go in the top pocket. OK? Oh. And it works like this. I hope. <laughs> Imagine it. I don't know how he does it. I don't know why he does it. Because it keeps him out the army. <laughs> Tell me what prize you're going to get. Well, Jim, tonight's trick shot winner can enjoy their morning coffee from this cafetiere complete with six mugs. <laughs> Your life in his hand. All right, Margaret, I know you wanted to go further in the trick shot stage, but, you know, you can video this and you'll be a star when you see years to come you playing this. Right. OK? You're not holding the cue as though you're going to have a chance of doing this, really. Need <laughs> <laughs> okay. a little confidence. Put your hand down there, right? Now, let me line it up for you. You have to lift your hand, raise your hand a little bit higher. That's it. Just move that round here. Just come with me. You break their arm, you fool. <laughs> I want you to strike down on that cue ball hard. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Margaret, you won that lovely prize. And we've got you a big break trophy and your snooker cue. Have you enjoyed yourself? It's been lovely. Give thanks. me a kiss then. Oh, lovely. Right, let's play pocket money. What are these things? <laughs> Quick change his hands where we dig into the old producer's pocket at the BBC. John, toss a coin. Elaine, heads or tails? Heads. It's a head. First or second? Second. Have a seat. Thank you. Okay, Dave, you've done this loads of times just to refresh people's memories. What it is, we've got to get this whole lot down. One minute, 30 seconds to try and raise as much money as we can. And if you miss a red, David, it's a question on potluck there for Jim. If you miss, let's say, for instance, a blue, it's a question on people. Anything up there you don't like, Jim? Screen, Jim. Screen? Not a screen person, eh? <coughs> OK, boys, you come with me, Jim. OK, David. Well, you've seen the pocket money table many times. The only thing I will say, keep your eyes open for the double pockets. £50 blue, if it goes in the blue pocket that's indicated on the screens at home, it'll double up to £100, give Jim more money and you're mo you more chance of being in the final. Bearing those things in mind, it asks you to make your break. It's quite simple, really. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jim, if you don't know the answer, don't hang around, just say snooker or pass and we'll plot on. Go on, boys. OK, that 90 seconds will start when you strike the cue ball. There is a red possible in the left centre. Best of luck. Miss Red. Which newspaper sponsored the 1993 World Chess Championships? Miller. No, it was actually The Times. In September 1993, it was revealed that beef, which was up to how many years old, was being eaten in the UK? How many years old? Up to what? 50. No, not quite. Some of it tastes like it was actually six. In October 1993, Blue Peter celebrated how many years of transmission? 35 or 40? 35. Correct. Play. We're off. We're off. £10. £120 if this pink goes in. Miss Pink. Oh. Where did sumo wrestling originate? Japan. S start the clock. We're off. £20. £50 for the blue. Shot. And it goes. Uh -oh. £70. I don't think this is... Unlucky. Miss Red. How many cents are there in the New Zealand dollar? 100. Correct. Play. 
Miss Red, you're not going in. Who replaced Graham Gooch as the captain of the England cricket team? Alex Stewart or Mike Atherton? Mike Atherton. Correct play. Good one for a Scotsman. That's there, 80 you? pounds. You've got coming up 15 seconds to go. Oh. Miss Black. Oh, what part did Orson Welles play in the third man? Harry who? Harry Lame. Correct play. Miss Red. <laughs> David oh. Taylor scores 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Oh. Oh. Paul, you come up really lame. Okay, Paul, £80 to beat, so you can take your time. <laughs> now, seriously, the main thing is get as much money as you can for Elaine, okay? And she might oh, give I something can't. to Jim. <laughs> that's just a make your break. Okay, Elaine, if you don't know the answer, just say pass. What is Malaysian for pass? <laughs> <laughs> That'll do, can't remember. <laughs> okay, 90 seconds will start when you strike the cue ball. Miss Red. Which female singer joined Take That and got to number one with Relight My Fire? Pass. That was Lulu. Which female BBC news reporter received an OBE from the Queen in September 1993? Kate, someone. Oh, uh, Kate Aidy. Kate Aidy, correct. We're off. And well deserved too. Ten pounds. Miss Black. What maker car was the time machine in Back to the Future? Remember that film Back to the Future? American car called a... Pass. Okay, it's called a DeLorean. Name Postman Pat's cat. Oh, Jesse. Jess, correct, as in Conrad. Not quite as old. <laughs> okay, this black and you're in the final, but as I say, keep going. Here we go. And it goes, that's 90 pounds. Keep going, get some money for a lane. 30 seconds to go. It's 100 pounds. 120 pounds if this blue pink is in. Miss Pink. Oh, name the last decathlon event. It's running. How long did that run for? Hold it, the pink went in! The pink went the in! Pink went the in. pink was in! The pink went in! It's saying 160 pound! 170 pound! It, the, it won in quick! It won in quick! 230 pound! 200 and whatever it is! <laughs> Well, John, your adding up there was wonderful, and the pink <laughs> was in. Well, it went all round the table, hit a red, and went in as you were so. Of That's absolutely what? wonderful. But our winners, the yellow team, Elaine and Paul, two hundred and forty pounds, and bad luck, Jim and Dave, eighty quid, mate. Oh, well, well now. Welcome to your nightmare. <laughs> That's right. It was disastrous. Today, eighty quid. Tomorrow, the world championship. <laughs> right, you. You're welcome. You can have it, Jim. Only 80 quid, but you've got your big break snooker cue and your trophy. A couple of videos from me and uh, old JV for you to take back. Thank you, Jim. And two tickets to see Cinderella in the West End. My guest. Thank you very much, All Jim. the best. Thank you. See you soon. Good. Right, final time. Let's go and make our break. This is the final, which we all sort of take for granted a bit. You've done a final before, Paul? Yes. All right, you know what to do then. Yeah. Break them up. John, let's have the new catchphrase. Hit them from behind, not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something like Corporal Jones would say out of Dad's army, isn't it? Yes, sir, they don't like it from behind, sir. <laughs> <laughs> not too from hard, sir. Not too hard. Okay, ladies, sir. Oh, we've got to have five questions. Five questions for you, Elaine. You get them all right. Five red balls off. Allow Paul to demolish this table. One minute, 30 seconds, including the question, <laughs> and take these lovely prizes home. Any reds left on the table tonight, Jim, and our lucky winner can feast their eyes on this big break spring hamper. Pop the yellow, they can also win this mini pocket colour TV. All this top quality MIDI stereo system can be theirs for clearing the green. With the brown down, they can add sophistication to their kitchen with this micro combi oven. This top of the range combination of washing machine and dishwasher is the prize for potting the blue. They'll be flying high if they sink the pink. Lunch on Concord is the reward. 
Then just pop the black and they won tonight's mystery star prize. <laughs> I've had lunch on Concord, it's wonderful. As you leave London, you have your lunch, and then you get airsick and see it again by the time you get to <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, some great prizes there. Some great prizes. One minute, 30 seconds for the whole job lot. If you don't know the answer, say pass, because time is of the essence. Good luck. Your time starts now. How many days does October have? 30 or 31? 31. Correct. What was the name of the girl who went to the tea party with a mad hatter and a March hair? Alice. Who is Inspector Morse's sidekick? Pass. Is Lewis. Which, which fields of arts is the Bolshoi Company associated? Um, Valley. In the film The Graduate, who played Mrs. Robinson and who? Um, Married to Mel Brooks. Uh, Come on, quick, 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 quick. Stop the clock, stop the clock. Stand the clock. I knew it. Well, I think she's married to Mel Brooks. If not, Mel's in for a surprise one night. <laughs> now then, we've got three. Uh, We've got three. Not bad. Three is okay. better than two. And it has been done with three, JV. Yeah, it was just that we're running out of time with that. I know, yeah. Oh. It'd be quicker to say pass, really. Do you just want to leave the ones in the middle of the table, Paul? Is that all the reds? There's another red to come off. Yeah, there's one more red to oh. come off. I was going to say, sorry. Well spotted. Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon? Right, yeah. you could take this off and pot this one. Yeah. At the moment, you need to pot these reds yeah. when you go for them all immediately. Right. You can't afford to hang about. So I'll take this off. Yeah. Okay, after red, you must go for a colour. Just, well, exactly one minute. Tall order. Give it your best shot. We're rooting for you. Clock Good starts luck, when you strike the cue ball. Here we go. Okay, just touch the pink. Don't have to go in, remember. Right, run round the table quick. Right, pot the red. Don't worry about the pink stopping. Right. Pot the ping if you want, it doesn't matter. The red will pass the pink when it's spotted. Okay, come on, carry on. Now Can't you're in believe the prizes. It. Fantastic. Go in. Get in. Need That's it a food hamper. Now we're started. Right, come on, we want to get up here. Get up. Get up, boy. Rest, John. Go on. <laughs> okay. Five seconds. Great shot. Great. Okay. That is a pocket colour TV. Come on, keep going, Paul. All prizes are better. That's a stereo system. That's a really good present. I've got to shot. nick that to <laughs> oh, oh! Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Go on, hit it. Right, oh, okay, that was it. That's the album. That's it. A food amber biscuit in the oven and 240 pounds to buy some nice wine to go with it. Elaine, have you enjoyed yourself? Yes, I have. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well done, Paul. Tough all that was hard, wasn't it? Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Margaret, thanks to Joe, thanks to Jim, thanks to David. Say goodnight, JV. Good night, JV. See you again. Next week, the break begins at 7.15 and coming up next on BBC One, Moral Dilemmas in Do the Right Thing.